Hi, my name is Bob and today I will be your host for the class Analytics with Excel. Let's explore our data. What we see here in the columns are the attributes or features of our card data set which describes full type, number of doors, RPM and their prices in the rows and in the rows we can see there are values that is gas 2 or 4 number of doors. The first row is the header or we can say labels. Now let's learn an important function called transpose. Select some few columns and rows by using copy function. Right click the selected part and copy or use shortcut hold ctrl plus c to copy. Then open a new sheet, select a cell and right click in the cell. And select paste spatial then again select transpose we can see the rows and columns have interchanged let's again do it with a simple example i have created this simple data set where we can see years according to the population now what if we want to see population according to the years the answer is simple transpose the meaning of years according to the population and population according to the years are same in this data set it is just a better way to represent the data from the data set based on our need. So again, let's select the values in the data set. Then right click in any cell inside the selected cell. Copy, then right click in any empty cell. Select paste spatial. Then again, select transpose. Then OK. And it's done. Now we can see population according to years. Now, I'm pretty sure you are aware of these simple functions like average, sum, count, and so on. If not, I got you covered. To find the average, select a cell and then type is equal to average. Select the columns that you want the average of. Close the bracket and hit enter. We can see the average of the population is 40. Same for count, sum, and for other functions, which will help you to analyze the data. Let me do this sum and count for you. Sum, select the data, close the bracket. Hit enter. And for count, select the data, close the bracket, and then hit enter. We can see the sum of all the values is 200 and count is 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Even for some advanced predictive analysis, it uses the same technique is equal to then name of the function such as binom.dist which is a binomial distribution next we'll see how to use a function that helps to remove the duplicates